day three, day two, I guess. And we're going on our first morning activity. We're really excited. It involves a boat. Let's keep it a surprise for now. <laughs> Is that bueno? <laughs> Not bueno. <laughs> <laughs> We are piranha fishing. Piranha fishing, Jason's got yeah. one. A big daddy. <laughs> this monster, Hold monster. On, Check out this monster catfish. <laughs> At home, I make four attempts to catch catfish. And I've never caught one. Here, we're looking for piranhas. I got two catfish, little babies. They're bigger than that. Okay, maybe like this big. They're tiny. We're using them for bait, if that says anything. Unimportant. Then we're real hungry for lunch, y'all. They call me the catfish king. You'll That's three that. straight. Everybody calls me that, Kelly. <laughs> I feel like I'm the last one that hasn't caught one yet. <laughs> well, mm. just, just a matter of time for the big one, maybe. Oh, Rebecca! I got a piranha! Kelly. It's a red-bellied piranha. It's big right there. <laughs> <laughs> Fish are a little bit too small. We're gonna find a new location because we're trying to get some to eat for lunch or for dinner. Quick piranha facts along the way. They're not like they seem in the movies. Apparently if you have like a tiny little wound, then maybe some other fish will come and open it up and then the piranhas are interested, but it's not like you jump in the water and get a full attack. Which is good to know because we are planning to swim in the Amazon River later and I'm glad that the piranhas will not come get us. Dang. I got a white piranha, I win. So far. <laughs> it's a big one though. It's so pretty. It's so sparkly. Oh, it's got some scary teeth though. Finally on the board to match my monster catfish with a monster piranha. Look at the size of that bad boy. You can't get it closer to the camera, that's cheating. Yeah, it looks massive now. <laughs> ah, Rebecca. It's like less than the size of my hand. Not important. <laughs> Tastes like fish. <laughs> After our piranha lunch and a little bit of rest time, we're back out on the water. We're gonna go jump in this time, cool off a little bit. We're here at the beginning of rainy season, so they've told us that the river is now rising up, and you can tell that just by how our dock is a little bit more underwater than it was when we first got here. Um, the landscape's constantly changing every time it rains. Yeah, that's one of the things I think is kind of unique about this place like there's not just trails that you go on because the water's always changing and the forest is always growing so it's like we're kind of cutting our own path every time which is much more rugged than you know if you just go up in the mountains or you're in the desert and you just kind of follow a particular path okay here goes nothing i'm about to jump in the amazon one two three <laughs> here goes <laughs> dead piranhas <laughs> on about an hour ago. Now we are searching in those same waters for Cayman. Oh, 
more monkeys. Mm -hmm. Just make the, the, the screen just protect the, the area. John just caught one of the caimans, little baby. He's pretty cute. Oh, his fingers around me. Look at his teeth. Wow. Don't throw, don't throw. <laughs> <laughs> Let go, that was good. Clean, yeah. clean release. So basically to find the Cayman, just kind of search your light on the sides and apparently their eyes reflect back like a red orange color. You can kind of see the last one. The one before that we couldn't even tell. I think you have to be the one with the flashlight like looking back and seeing the reflection. But our guides, as they've done with everything, are just fantastic at being able to spot them way, way ahead or way on the side. Just an absolutely incredible experience and we finished after finding the first Cayman just kind of looking for Caymans and driving the boat through the water. I can't even figure out how they're navigating that water in the pitch black, the two of them, but it's just awesome. Totally wild experience. Loved it. And that's going to end the night for us. This morning around 6 a.m. we woke up to our whole little cabin shaking and it was an earthquake outside. It's my first earthquake I've ever felt, but it was a long tremor. Yeah, I think it wasn't huge, but these houses are these like cabins are on stilts. And so I think it lasted longer because that and felt a little bit more just because it's a little bit more flimsy. So luckily everything seemed to be good. They came and checked on us. Sounds like everyone was okay. It's our last morning here in the Amazon. We're going out on one last adventure to see as many animals as possible, and then we'll head to Iquitos to go back to Lima. options for what looks uh, like the least difficult path. Looks pretty thick, but he's gonna machete through. We were hiking deep in the Amazon and we just came across a prehistoric bird called a Watson. And it has this crazy crown on the top of its head and it, it kind of looks prehistoric. I can understand why they say that. Listen to the bird. Packing our way through with a machete, we just saw a sloth up in the top of the tree, just, just napping. I think those are my new uh, favorite animal, they nap a lot. Also caught some monkeys at a distance, some new birds too. Been a good trek so far. which is apparently thicker because the trees aren't as tall but the ground stuff is thicker whereas the other area there's tall trees but it's a little bit easier to walk on the ground also we got Jason with this mosquito net and they're still biting me wow what an adventure we just went through like the middle of nowhere it was nuts 
Hey, I didn't think we knew where we were going. I don't think they knew, but we got back to the boat. That wraps up our incredible experience here in the Amazon. We're gonna hop back on the boat, back to Iquitos, and then fly back to Lima for the rest of our trip. This uh, part of our trip has been such an adventure, just so, uh, I don't know if rugged's the right word, but just being in the middle of the Amazon, having them use a machete to hack a trail for us to be able to go through and explore all these unique areas and see all these really cool animals and plants and, and insects, and it's just been insane. It's been such an adventure. Yeah, probably one of the most off the beaten path things we have ever done in a good way. I think it was a challenge to some degree because it's hot, there's a lot of mosquitoes, but I mean, having the crew kind of taking care of us the whole time and getting able to do that exploration that it feels like no one has done before or few people have and go to some of these areas is a pretty awesome experience. Yeah, and the staff has been so kind and supportive of us and I feel like we've all been a little outside of our comfort zone, but they've made it easy to be outside our comfort zone. They've encouraged us along the way. So it's been really cool to experience with our family. Yeah, if you have the chance, Definitely visit the Amazon and highly recommend the Odorongo Lodge.